to kick off Black History Month. Google has chosen to celebrate the first internationally renowned African-American sculptor. Edmonia Lewis is honored by the search engine on February 1st. Lewis, who was of African and Native American heritage, was born in New York in 1844 but lived most of her professional life in Europe, settling in Rome. Until her teenage years, Lewis went by the Native American name Wildfire. She passed away at the age of 63 in London in 1907. Her father was Afro-Haitian, while her mother was half Mississauga Ojibwe and half African American. The Google Doodle demonstrates Lewis creating arguably her most famous work. The Death of Cleopatra, it is on display at the Smithsonian American Art Museum in Washington, D.C. The blog about the doodle concludes, today, we celebrate her and what she stands for, self-expression through art even in the face of adversary. Here's what you need to know. 1. She was accused of poisoning two of her college friends. Lewis' parents were both dead by the time she had turned nine, at which point she went to live with two aunts close to Niagara Falls in New York. While there, Lewis sold Ojibwe trinkets to tourists in the 19th century. At the age of 15, Lewis went to study at Oberlin College in Ohio. It was one of the few schools to accept women of different ethnicities as students. Black students had been admitted at the school since 1835. She boarded here with the Reverend John Keefe and his wife. The family was abolitionists. Later in her college career, an incident occurred that threatened Lewis' freedom. While planning to go sledding with a group of men, Lewis and two friends drank spiced wine. It emerged that the women had been poisoned with condorides. Lewis was put on trial and accused of poisoning her friends. During this time, Lewis was beaten by a group of men in Oberlin over the incident. She was represented during the trial by the only practicing black lawyer in the town, John Mercer Langston. Despite not taking the stand in the non-liberal views of the Oberlin townspeople, Lewis was acquitted of any wrongdoings. Her friends made full recoveries. Another scandal emerged a year later when Lewis was accused of stealing her classmate work, a scandal that resulted in Lewis being prevented from graduating. The allegations were later quashed due to a lack of evidence. But Lewis never graduated from Oberlin. 2. Her sexuality has been much speculated upon by historians. According to the Gay History Project, Lewis' sexuality has been much speculated upon. She never married and never had any children.